This is Academic and Career Planning for the 2021 school year. This week, we will help you select your courses for the upcoming academic year. Today, you will receive your course request worksheet in Homeroom, and we will go over how to make your selections and your resources available to you. You will have one week to make your course selections, and by Monday, January 13th, your course request sheet will be collected and reviewed for accuracy. On January 27th, your course request worksheet will be returned to you and you will finalize your course selections by entering them into the Infinite Campus system. Let's get started. To graduate from the Appleton Area School District, students must complete a minimum of 23 credits in specific curricular areas, including four credits of English with 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade selections, three credits of mathematics, three credits of science, including one credit of physical science, one credit of life science, and one credit of science elective, three credits of social studies, including civics, world or global history, and U.S. history, 1.5 credits of physical education, a semester of health, 1.0 credits of any fine art, and a semester or 0.5 credits of personal financial management or intro to economics. The remaining 6.5 credits are elective credits and can be customized based on your individual academic and career goals. To assist students in the course planning process, the Appleton Area School District has provided a course and career planning guide. The first page on the guide is about graduation requirements. Later in this presentation, we will go over how to do a credit check, but here are the graduation requirements in total, which equal 23 credits. The next section is the four-year course planning worksheet. This worksheet is designed to help students plan out their four years here at Appleton North High School. We also have included a section about post high school planning. If you have questions about what admission requirements you'll need to fulfill for college, um, you can go to this page or go to your Zello account or go to the UW Help website. We've also included a section in here for called additional course opportunities. If you go to the Appleton Area School District website, there is an additional link there um, that includes information about dual credit, youth apprenticeship, CT internship, uh, start college now and or early college credit program. A very important page on this in this is the career cluster page. Each of our course sections are divided into career clusters. On the top right hand side of the page will identify the career cluster of interest. If you forgot which career cluster of interest um, is for you, you can go back and review your matchmaker results that you took in the fall. On the next section is the course guide and numbers. If you were interested in a particular course, you can select it. For example, if I wanted more information on Intro to Computer Science, I would click that link. On the top right hand side, you can see already that the cluster information, it's IT and STEM. The first course that is listed, the number is 9340, and the name of the course is Intro to Computer Science. Following that is a brief description about the class and what you would do when you take this class. And following that is the level, what grade you need to have um, attained to be in this class. In addition is the credit total and if there is a prerequisite. In this particular class, there is no prerequisite, but if you look at the next class, 9440 AP Computer Science Principles, you see the prerequisite listed is 9340 Intro to Computer Science. The guide is laid out like this. You can either go back um, to the page or scroll through it, or you can click on the bottom right corner and it will bring you back to this linked page. This course guide is located on your ClassLink account, or you can go to the Appleton Area School District website under Teaching and Learning and find it under Course Planning. The first step in the academic and career planning process is to understand how the credits you earn each semester apply to graduation requirements, as well as how they apply to higher education opportunities. To assist you in this task, we will be completing a graphic organizer called the Credit Tracker. To complete the Credit Tracker, you will need to access your transcript in your Student Infinite Campus account or your course planner in Zello. Once you have reviewed these resources, you may begin to complete the Credit Tracker by checking off all the credits you have completed in the appropriate boxes. 
This is a sample of a completed credit tracker evaluation for a current 10th grade student. The student has checked off all completed credits. If you wish, you may circle the credits you are currently taking this school year. After you've completed your credit assessment, you will have a clearer picture of your progress towards graduation. You may also begin to assess your progress for admission to higher education opportunities. On the right-hand side of your screen are the general UW system and Fox Valley Technical College guidelines for college readiness. If you would like more specific information about college readiness for a particular college, please ask your counselor for more information. The senior year scheduling worksheet is blue for 2021. The first thing we ask students to do is go to the middle column and clearly print their first and last name. Then direct your attention to the far left column labeled Graduation Required Classes. The ELA classes listed above the red line are full year classes or equal one full credit. The courses below the red line are semester courses. To fulfill the graduation requirement, students must either choose one course above the red line or two classes below the red line. Seniors then direct your attention to the following boxes that help you evaluate your progress towards graduation. In this particular example, this student has completed all of the graduation requirements by looking, and they can tell this by looking at their transcript, um, except for the fine art and the financial literacy credit. Students will then proceed to put their fine art request on the far right box, including the credit total, and they will also do this for the personal financial management or financial literacy requirement. Then students will put down the name of the other electives that they will be choosing for their senior year, keeping in mind that seniors must choose a minimum of five credits. In this particular example, students have listed five credits in the above lines, and they have requested one full credit of ELA totaling in six total credits that they are requesting for their senior year. If a student is involved in any charter schools or will be enrolling in a charter school, please indicate the charter school that you will be attending for the 2021 school year. Students who wish to take an e-school class must enroll in the class in August. However, you can put the name of the course you'd like to notify us that you are taking in the box provided. Again, remember all eSchool classes have to be officially enrolled through the eSchool website in August. We ask that all students who are requesting elective courses or PE classes list an alternate course just in case a course is canceled or their, their course request does not fit into the schedule that is made. Finally, all students are required to obtain signatures of confirmation from their parents, their homeroom advisor, and some of you may also be required to get a confirmation signature from your case manager. This course request form will be considered complete once all signatures are obtained. Then students must return this completed form to their homeroom advisor by Monday, January 13th.